Hello there, wonderful builders YouTube. It's your girl, Swimsicle, coming to you with my currently inked video. I'm going to try doing this as a voiceover. Uh, sorry, like that. I'm going to talk through. I bought an external mic for the camera I use because the audio on this particular camera isn't very well. Fingers crossed that this external mic works out for us so that we can continue to do these in a talk through fashion. As always, I still have to post the video for my unboxing of this. Uh, my currently ink pens are in my rickshaw bag. This is the Sinclair R. I do have a little three over here, three here, and three here. Although I have nine pens in this case, I only have seven inked. My Twisby 580, which I have an unboxing of, and I'll link down below for you guys, I have not inked. And I believe this is like Ruby Red. I'll double check the name. Um, for the Kaweco AL Sports or Aluminum Sports. I haven't inked that one either. I was going to, but then I kind of realized I have a lot of pens that were inked and it took me like two months to go through the ones from the previous month. So I said, you know what? Let's start off <laughs> with a little bit less and we're kind of work our way up. What we're going to go ahead and do now is move on to the next page and we're going to go in with our currently inked pens. So I'm going to try to do it twisby's first and then my other ones uh we're gonna go in with the saffron twisby i have this one in an extra fine the ink i used was the burnt like or like the not the burnt the anchor brown orange which is like a brown orange from mont blanc very beautiful i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you guys can see so again this is an extra fine Oops. is it gonna show you guys there it goes i'm gonna leave like two spaces at the top for the title And then I want to try something a little bit different. I'm just going to try to draw some leaves or something. I'm not like the greatest artist. Most of the time when you guys like saw my like plan with me and then I'm drawing on them. It's like me just tracing the art. Do. And be a little patient with me. And then we'll do like the, the little squigglies and some dashes. And I really like this ink because this one has like a shading quality shading quality to it. Like once it dries, I'll show you guys a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and put this one back in the bag. And then we're going to take out my most, well not my most recent pen purchase, but one of my more recent pen purchases. I was actually finally able to find this beautiful, um, I believe it's called Cherry Blossom Red Eco Twisby. I bought it off a of Reddit user. I was so happy. Oh my god, I was able to find it thanks to one of my pen friends. I'll have her Instagram link down below for you guys if you guys want to check it out. I'm just shaking up the pen so I can get the ink moving on in there because it was sitting in the bag for a bit. And I paired this up with a ink I also came across up on TikTok, which was Dracula by Warangul as well. You guys, perfect pen combination. Like, without a doubt, I saw that ink when um Hemingway Jones posted about it I was like I must have it and I bought it and I'm not disappointed like the glitter of this thing shows through beautifully And then the last of my Twisbees is this lime one. Oop, my baggy fell. And for this one, I have it inked with Ferris Wheel Press's Open Sea Atrium. It is a very beautiful 
like blue ish like green i guess it would be like considered a teal right because teal is like a bluish green Oops, let me do it this way and again i'm just kind of like shaking it up most of the time you would just want to roll it but i'm kind of impatient so i'm just kind of going like pop, pop, pop. try to force it to mix in and you can see that it's like mixing in there if i can get it to focus like the shimmer is going in there you see it oh it's dancing and if you guys are wondering why there's like so little ink in here like very very minimal is because i like to write with the pens until they like dry out see like i got some in there because i was impatient but i do like to work with these pens until they dry out so i put in a little bit so it's usually like a month's worth Maybe even two months like it was the last time. But last time it was mostly I had too many pens inked. And then I'm just going to clean the cap off before I go into the next ink. So if you guys see like a cutoff or a blur, that's what I was doing. And right now, before we move on to the other inks, just because, like, look, it's not even, like, fully dried yet. And you guys can already see, like, that shimmer pulling through, especially on Open Sea Atrium. Very, very stunning shade. I don't know if you guys can see it on wearing goals. Yeah, you can. You can see it in the little flower area. So nice. And then as you guys can see, the brown orange has turned a, like, darker color, almost. But we'll leave it like that for now. And we're going to move on to the next inks. Now, the pens I have in this little pouch are pens that are um, relatively more expensive than the ones I have on the outside. Some of them are kind of, like, similarly priced. Some of them are a little bit lower. It just kind of, like, depends. Like, for example, the... Um, one we're going to do next which is the ferris wheel press brush pen this one retails for i believe it's over a hundred dollars i that i got it on sale it was like i got it like for eighty dollars they had like a really like good sale like i think it was like during um was it fountain Bend day or black friday it was one of those two and i was went ahead and like bit the bullet and i bought it uh, things to note though actually you know what we'll save that for like a more in-depth review after i use this pen a little bit more this one is in the fine nib and i actually did match the ink well i said the best of my capabilities to the pen i used terracotta by birmingham pen co in this pen and although it's showing up a little bit more of a brighter pink on camera may it is more of a dusty pink kind of similar to this one now just a quick note that i will note in this video is that when you use it you get like that coin smell on your hands like so it smells like you're using or like you've been holding money so i personally always have to wash my hands after i use that pen because i don't like that scent but overall it's actually a very smooth writer now there goes the bag again oh and then this one right here is the pen of the year the novular this is the one that is going to be one of like the pens that i ink all year round Mainly because I'm trying to make sure that I get my money's worth from it. It is the only gold nibbed pen I own. And it was gifted to me by my husband, which it also has sentimental value. So I want to make sure I use it as much as I can. And I paired this one up with Dusk and Bloom from Ferris Wheel Press. Uh, quick disclaimer, the inks I've used so far from Ferris Wheel Press, I did purchase myself. But if you're interested in buying something from FerrisWheelPress.com, I'll have my affiliate link down below as well as my code SWIM. Uh, but if you guys purchase any, like, you know, pens, full-size inks, you guys can put in ink charger an ink charger set of your choice, and you can get that for free, as long as you use code SWIM. And then, quick disclaimer, I do get a small commission, and it just helps support the channel and my addiction to stationery. But 
it's all good we're gonna go ahead and move on to swatching it this ink was in my cart for a very long time i actually kind of regret not getting the bigger i believe it's like the 85 mil bottle that they have because i just i love this i'm like i love this shade it's so beautiful And now we're going to move on to the last of the new shades that I have in here, which is going to be in my Esther book SD. This is also a gift I received from my husband. This one I actually got during Christmas time. So this is also one of the pens I keep in my all the time inked. Again, for sentimental value and because they're a little bit more on the expensive side. So again, I just want to get my money's worth out of the pen or my husband's money's worth out of the pen. Uh, this one's inked with the sample, so I don't have the sample thing with me. It is Vinta Sirena, and I am stocking the Vanessa page for the restock on this beautiful greening. Like, it is such a beautiful shade. Like, I'm like, girl, I should have bought the whole bottle when I had the chance. Granted, though, this is. At and I know it might sound bad, but these like inks samples are years old. I just got into buying too many of the full size bottles that I kind of forgot about trying out these samples. But now I'm making it a like um I'm basically gonna force myself to use at least one ink sample per monthly ink with me or whenever it is that I do re-ink pen so I can start using or at least going through them little by little. And deciding which ones I do want in a full size and which ones I don't. Like this is one of the ones I know I'm going to want in a full size. And I'm super excited. Um, I did contact the shop to ask them. And they said they said that they're receiving an order. I think it's sometime this month. So hopefully we're able to secure the bag with this one. And before I forget, this is going to be in a fine nib. And... Because this ink is not like super wet and doubling it in with the nib being fine, I'm actually able to use it with like very minimal risk of smudging. I've been using this pen exclusively and exclusively in my Hobonichi since I inked it with Vinta. In love, I am so happy. Because I'm trying to make my Hobonichi like a fountain pen only notebook. Just to like make sure again I'm getting use out of all the stationery I'm buying. So it's really fun. And then again, this is just gonna be the Jane Eyre one. We inked this the previous video. It's a very beautiful purple color. I forgot what it was called. I think it's violet. Yeah, I think it's the Caveco collection aluminum and violet. And I love having the pen clips on them. So I usually get the one that matches whatever the nib color is and like the I forgot what that is. Is it the, the finial? But uh, just to make and <laughs> keep it matchy matchy. And this one is also in a fine. And with this pen in particular, I did find that I had to press a little bit harder on the downstroke to get like the ink to not do like a hard stop so i need to double check if it's the pen or the ink and then we're just gonna go back to the beautiful novel noveler noveler pen of the year and then we're just gonna go ahead and draw in our little leaves And again, we're just putting those back. I'm going to give you guys a close-up of those inks. Wow, they're just so beautiful. Like, you can see the shimmer really pulled through for this one. And you can see the shimmer pulling through for Dracula as well. You're not... I don't know if it's the notebook. I think it's more so the lighting. But wearing gold dracula's but like even on the loik turn paper this is some way river paper by the way it 
pulls through so beautiful like the shimmer you can see it in every single one of your letters it looks basically like this on paper like i was completely ast astounded but other than that i'm very happy with the selection of ink i have for this month i am looking forward to writing with it i've actually already done like two entries with the wearing gold dracula i hope and see atrium is probably going to be next because I also found during my last pen with me or ink with me that I really do enjoy the Twisby Eco's sub nib. So I might do a mid-month update just so we can kind of see where I'm at with these. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not hesitate to leave a like, a comment, or any recommendation of a video you guys would like to see in the future. Thank you so much. Bye.